All right, Halos, welcome back. Uh, we are doing the patch notes for patch 14.7. I know this is uh, like almost, what has it been like? Just about two and a half weeks since the patch came out, but I, we weren't really able to have the time to do it so far. Um, the schedules didn't really link up super well and just been super busy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a kind of a recap just so I don't miss anything. And uh, just in case anyone's interested in my thoughts on patch notes, that's uh, that's pretty much why this channel's here anyway. So if you're interested in my or interested in a different idea or like opinion, uh, this is mine on them. But yeah, uh, for patch 14.17, here we go. Um, the battle queens and princesses have arrived with patch 14.17. Yeah, they had some skin stuff there going there. It's interesting. Um, but yeah, all right, so matchmaking improvements. Increased offer roll parity. Both teams should now have a more similar amount of players auto-filled or placed in their secondary roles. Uh, reduced how large LP gaps could be between players in a game and decrease the red versus blue side imbalance, especially in higher MMRs. Um, this definitely had some, like, it definitely affected some matches, but um, I think there's still some some problems with Riot's max making, but overall it is a lot better than it was, I would say. So this, uh, this worked, this was really nice, for sure. Um, <clears throat> leaving penalties on the table. Um, Discovered a bug in our leverage detection system, which resulted in some players not receiving the penalty that they should have received despite being identified as lever at the end of the game. Um, okay, so now that's that'll be correctly penalized. That's good. Um, all right, changes to ready check uh, in order to address queue sniping and stream sizing, sniping behaviors that both involve abusing ready check to disrupt a game. We've implemented new penalties for declining ready check. Players will still be able to decline the occasional game if you're otherwise occupied, but these new penalties will affect those repeatedly declining ready check in a short time frame. Yeah, these are really nice. Um, they'll start with queue lockout. The, ban the penalties will start with queue lockouts and escalate to bans if they uh, repeatedly do that. So yeah, uh, there's actually really nice overall, I'd say, but there's definitely some situations where it's like a little too much, I would say. Um, but I, I think it's helped overall. Um, I have seen, actually, I think it's a couple days ago, I actually played in, for a few hours and uh, there was a lot of leave, uh, like a lot of, not as many like Q dodges, but like actual game dodges. There were, there was several of those. There's a few like declined there was several declined ready checks as well, but yeah. Um, overall, I think it is better, but definitely needs some work, some more work, I think. <clears throat> um, update to ranked restrictions worldwide. Um, ruling out these changes to all regions. Ranked restricted players will be able to return to ranked games only after winning three matches in quick, lay, quick play or draft pick. Okay. Infernal Cinder's adjustment. So, um, excuse me, the Infernal Cinder spawn cadence was two to three for every 14 seconds. Now it's two to three every 20 seconds. So they're less often spawns, um, but the uh, infernal hit cinder haste per stack is now one full haste uh, instead of 0.6. So it's actually just overall better, I would say. Um, usually people weren't grabbing all of the, the cinders anyway. So I think this is just straight up better. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then Aurora. It's actually really nice, actually. <laughs> Aurora is our first champion on this list today. So we got uh, R between worlds. The damage is getting nerfed down. So it was 200 to 450 based on the, the rank of the of the ability. And now it's uh, 175 to 375. So um, down by 75 damage at max rank and down by 25 damage early. So yeah, definitely definitely a nice little hit there. I think it is does do a lot of damage. So I think it's probably fine. <clears throat> um, and then Ash, her base health is getting nerfed here. Um, so it was 640, now it's 610. So uh, definitely a bit of a, a hit to her. Honestly, it's not gonna not gonna be that big of a deal. It's like half an auto attack's worth of damage maybe, but it's not really gonna be huge, but it's definitely definitely hurts her a bit for sure. Um, obviously just being squishier is not great, especially as an ADC so, and, and an early game. But um, yeah. It's not the end of the world, honestly. Uh, Brand is up next. Burn damage on his passive now has a cap at 30 damage per second to monsters. So that's going to be really, it's really going to hurt him in the jungle a lot, I would say. Um, it's true, it does still have Faded Ashes, but uh, it's its a lot 
I mean, just capping his damage in general is just not... It's a lot of damage that he's missing out on um, for monsters, but at least he won't go, like, rampant in the jungle, I suppose. Um, the explosion now has a cap against monsters of 250 to... <clears throat> excuse me, 475 at levels 1, 6, 11, and 16. So it goes 250, 350, 400, and 475 as the cap. So that's still a decent amount, at least, um, of damage, but still... Definitely a bit of a, a hit there into Brand Jungle, which is fine, I suppose. <clears throat> um, Caitlyn is getting attack speed ratio upped. Uh, it was 0.594 for the ratio, and then now it is 0.610, so it's actually pretty nice, actually. And, and attack speed helps uh, Caitlyn a lot as well, um, especially the ratio there. So pretty nice little bounce back from... <clears throat> I think they nerfed that back uh, last year, so that's actually kind of, I think, getting reverted here. Um, yeah, and then W auto snap trap. The cooldown was 30 seconds to 12 based on rank. Now it is 26 to 10, so uh, just a lot lower cooldown on the the, the traps, um, especially early. But yeah, pretty decent amount. And then uh, obviously she can stack that as well, so that's for each stack, which is really nice. <clears throat> um, and then Ezreal gets uh, yeah, I mean, honestly just like really really nice stuff for Kaylin. Ezreal getting uh, base attack damage. Um, reduced a little here, which I'm perfectly fine with. It's going from 62 to 60, um, which is just fine. No problem with that. I don't think he's, like, broken or anything, but uh, I know a lot of pros do like him a lot, and personally, I don't think he's that good, but in the right hands, it can definitely be pretty pretty strong. <laughs> um, Q into the line. Uh, the cooldown is... On Graves, sorry. Uh, so Graves is up next. Q into the line. Cooldown on that is 13 to 7 based on rank. And now it was, is 13 to 6 seconds. So pretty pretty nice there. Especially at the final rank you're getting that. Because you are you are maxing Q in almost every situation. Uh, to my knowledge at least. So um, just an extra second quicker that you get, get that basically. Uh, it's super nice. Especially at max rank. Um, you can definitely feel it at the second to last rank as well. Not so much before, but a little bit. It definitely helps. Um, the initial damage was 40 to 105 based on rank, plus 80% bonus AD. The bonus AD scaling is the same, but it's now 45 to 125. So it's getting 20 damage at the very end, uh, basically. I mean, it's, it's getting a little incremental each rank past the first. But yeah, it's just a nice little bump for that. And then the maximum damage is 130 to 330. Um, and then the change is now it's 130 to 350 so it just gets an extra, gets an extra 20 damage um, which is the exact same basically um, as the initial damage is getting uh what five more yeah 5 10 15 20 uh, starting at rank two um so yeah pretty nice for graves for sure um i think he definitely could be pretty good but i'm not sure how good uh, i kind of want to play him in lane again but i don't think he's as good as he used to be <laughs> but he could work um, he still has Eclipse and, like, um, what's the other one? Collector and stuff, so, yeah, if he goes for that route, at least. Um, Katarina, we got Q Bouncing Blade, um, is actually getting buffed here, so the flat damage is unchanged. Oh, no, it's not, I lied. Uh, the flat damage was 80 to 240, now it's 80 to 220, so you're getting 20 less flat damage at max rank, in the end, at least. Um, obviously a little bit damage, a little bit less damage per rank as well, past the first, but you are getting 5% bonus AP scaling, um, so that's really nice. Um, I, overall, it's just slightly, slightly weaker in the early game, not really that much, because at, at uh, max rank, you're gonna be level nine if you're maxing Q and nothing else. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, this is not really gonna matter, honestly. It's just a straight up buff overall. Uh, so yeah, there you go. And then looks like they're trying to hit her on hit builds a little more by doing this. So I guess that makes sense, yeah. Um, Kinnon, uh, the Q Thundering Shuriken. The magic damage on that, was, the flat damage is unchanged, and the AP scaling is going down by 10% AP scaling. So that's actually quite a bit. Um, but yeah, I guess they think he's a little bit too strong. <clears throat> Oh, Kenan's 14.9 buff, which allows him to move while casting his ultimate, gave him a meaningful amount of power. Interesting. I thought he could always ult while he was ult casting his ults. Oh, maybe not while he's casting. Okay, I see. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Uh, anyways, the... Yeah, that's getting a bit of a nerf. Definitely hurts him quite a bit, but it's not going to be the end of the world, really. He doesn't even stack, like, an insane amount of AP, I don't think. He's usually more, like, bruisery with the health AP items. But, 
Uh, definitely hit, for sure. Uh, Kindred, the Dance of Arrows on her Q. The attack speed is going up by 5%. I'm pretty sure they just just nerfed this down like a few patches ago, so now they're just reverting that, basically. So, yeah, reverting the recent Q attack speed nerf since their sustained damage is lower. Um, and then the E mounting into red. Uh, so the base damage is actually going up quite a bit, and the bonus AD. So the bonus AD is up by 20%, which is quite a lot. And then... Um, Base, AD, base damage is what, was 80, 80 to 160 based on rank. Now it's 80 to 200 based on rank. So at starting at level 2, you're starting to get more and more damage. And at level 5, you are, uh, what, 40 more damage of this. I don't think he maxes. she maxes her, her Q. So I think this is opting people to, to max E instead of Q, uh, W and the second, second uh, max. And then the cooldown on that is also going from 14 to 10 seconds now it's 14 to 8 seconds so yeah just really nice uh, especially when this is max it's actually just a lot better um but yeah there you go straight up uh and then really nice for, for kindred actually super nice buffs um probably i want to say she'll we'll see her at worlds maybe actually i don't know i don't know for sure but it's definitely really nice um leblanc is getting some changes here. Her Q Sigil of Malice is going down by five AP per AP scaling, five percent AP scaling on her Q, of course. And then the W Distortion Distortion Magic Damage is also going down by five percent AP scaling. So just hurting LeBlanc a bit. I don't think she's really OP, but um, yeah, I guess I guess they're lowering her late lowering her late game damage a bit for sure. Overall, uh, Lilia passive. Damage to monsters cap was 70 to 150 over three seconds. Now it's 70 to 100 over three seconds. Yeah, we've been seeing this uh, champion a lot in like um, same same thing as Brandy yeah, exactly. Uh, a lot in like pro and stuff. So I think just kind of tapping her a little bit makes sense. And then Lissandra Q Ice Shard. Um, actually getting buffed here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So the damage was 80 to 200 flat, and now it's 80 to 220. So they're getting a little bit more damage after rank two. Um, and then at the end, that the max rank, you're getting 20 flat damage. It's honestly not that big of a deal because it's flat damage, but she does spam this ability out quite a bit. So it, it is slightly meaningful. It's just not a lot, but definitely hurt, helps a bit. Um, and then uh, our Frozen Tomb, the slow on that is actually getting buffed as well. So it was uh, 30%, 45%, and 75% based on rank. Now it's 45%, 60%, and 75%. So the first rank, you're getting 15% more slow. Second rank, you're getting... Wait. Yeah, second rank, you're getting 15% more slow. And then the final rank, it's the same amount of slow, which makes sense. Uh, and then Pike, his base stats, his armor is going down. I like this, because it's making him more squishy. He already had, stacks like a, a lot of HP and stuff anyway, so that's really cool. Um, and yeah, so armor going from 47 to 43, which is really nice. And then Rumble is the highest presence top, top laner in pro. Possibly stronger in the solo queue. I don't know about that one, to be honest, but okay. Um... Maybe you should get some data from somewhere. Uh, passive, Junkyard Titan is getting hit here, I think. Uh, on hit damage was 5 to 40 based on level, plus 25% AP. Okay, so only thing that changed here was it did uh, plus 6% target max health. Now it just does plus 5% target max health. Everything else is unchanged. So, yeah, it just skills a little bit less with his... Uh, <clears throat> well, with the target's max, max HP, I guess. Interesting. This is on-hit damage for his passive. And then uh, Rise is actually getting buffs, uh, which I really like, because I actually was playing him before this, um, so it's really cool to see. Um, anyways, <clears throat> Q Overload is the magic damage on this guy is going from... It's basically getting plus 5 flat damage at every rank, and everything else is unchanged uh, on the Q. So it's not really that much, but he does spam it out quite a bit, so it's something at least. Um, our Realm Warp is also getting a massive cooldown reduction. Um, what from 210 seconds to 180 at rank 1. So just 30 seconds knocked off that bad boy. At rank 2, it's 20 seconds knocked off. And at rank 3, it's 10 seconds knocked off. So now it is 180 and scales to 140 based on rank. That's a cooldown. And then... Uh, Senna is up next, so we got nerfs to the heals basically, but it's only, it's, everything nerfed here is just 
the AP scaling, and I don't even build the AP, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think the AP is pretty weak. I, I get that you get the heals, but it's not really worth it, in my opinion, the trade-off for not having any damage. <clears throat> and just building AP and, like, uh, enchanter items. But anyways, uh, Q, Piercing Darkness, the only thing that's being changed here is minus 20% AP scaling. Oh, actually, I lied. The, the flat heal is actually being nerfed here as well so it does hurt a little bit but uh it was 40 to 120 based on rank now it's 40 to 100 <clears throat> and of course like i said the minus 20 percent ap scaling so it's now now it's uh, only 60 percent ap scaling instead of 80 and then now um her r dawning shadow shield uh, the flat damage is unchanged but the ap scaling is down by 20 percent which literally doesn't matter to me um that's fine and then Seraphine is up next. We got W surround sound. Uh, some nerfs here for sure. I noticed this, and I don't think she's really that that broken. But apparently, apparently everyone is always maxing W or something. So uh, yeah, the shield is going from 60 to 160 uh, based on rank flat to 60 to 140, and then the AP scaling is unchanged. But the big hit here is the cooldown. Uh, it was 22 to 18 seconds based on rank, and that's just a flat 22 at all ranks. So yeah, um, probably don't really want to put many points into W unless you're a, mainly an enchant enchanter build, I suppose. But oh well, <clears throat> uh, definitely definitely hurts to be Seraphine, <laughs> I suppose. Uh, Silas, his W King Slayer magic damage uh, is getting minus 10% AP, uh, so it was 70% AP scaling, now it's 60% AP scaling, so definitely a, a bit of a hurt, to, a bit of a nerf to him, but yeah, um, interesting for sure. I think he is pretty, pretty strong, but definitely nerfing him makes him a little bit weaker for sure, and then Twisted Fate is up next, we got Q wild cards, so what is being changed here? Just the the flat damage, uh, it was 60 to 220, now it's 60 to 240. Honestly, it's not that big of a deal. It's just flat damage anyway, so I don't think this really matters much, but yeah. Um, interesting. <clears throat> oh, sorry, it's not a nerf. What am I saying? It's a buff. 240. But yeah, still, it's not that big of a deal. Um, it's just fine. And then Varus, uh, Q piercing arrow. The max damage was... Uh, let's see what has actually changed here. Oh, everything. Okay, so it was uh, max damage was 15 to 235, and then now it's 90 to 370 based on rank. So you're just getting a ton of damage uh, everywhere, pretty much, um, at the max damage, which is really nice. And then um, the AD, AD scaling has also changed here quite a bit. It was 125% total AD to 145%. Now it's 150% to 190% bonus AD. Okay, so it isn't total AD anymore. So it's bonus AD. That is a change for sure. That's probably why probably why they're, they're buffing the base damage as well. But overall, I'm pretty sure that this is just straight up more damage off of his Q, which is... I think he's actually pretty strong right now anyway. So uh, Minimum damage still two-thirds of maximum damage as well. So that's a nice thing to note there. Um, and then E, Hail of Arrows. Uh, Damage was, looks like the flat damage is unchanged, but the bonus AD scaling is up by 20% more. So now it's 110% bonus, bonus AD scaling instead of 90, which is really nice. Back in the day, he used to, uh, I don't know if it was max E, but it was definitely like put a few points into E early for sure. And I think it was his first first learned ability as well. So uh, it's pretty cool. And then... Yeah, just super nice for Varys. I think he's going to be strong. Um, I can't remember if they nerfed him in 14-18 or not. We'll have to see. Uh, but yeah, Warmog's Heart, we got total cost, total gold cost, rather, uh, is up by 200 gold. So now it's 3,300 gold total. And then move speed bonus was 10%. Now it's 5%, so they halved that as well. It's just overperforming, I guess, so they're nerfing it. It definitely, definitely hurts a lot, and I don't think it's really an item that needs to be worth 3,300 gold um it's not really strong enough for that in my opinion but it is a good item for sure so i don't know i think i don't like this i hope they i hope they nerf the cool gold cost for sure um celestial opposition the slow is getting changed from 60 for two point for two seconds 60 percent for two seconds now it's 50 percent for 1.5 seconds 
one and a half. So yeah, uh, just a nice nerf there as well. <clears throat> but yeah, I've seen this a lot as well. So interesting. Uh, all right, runes absorb life. Uh, so they're adjusting the formula here without the scales as you level as follows. Um, so level one to five, it was one to five. Now it's one to two based on level. These are both based on level. And then it's level six to 10, it was six to 11 based on level. Now it's three to seven. Now at level 11 to 18, it was 12 to 23 based on level. Now it's eight to 23. So basically just nerfing it, especially early. Um, in the end, it turns out being the same, but early game, it's just a big nerf to it. Um, which I don't think is really needed. I think it was weak to begin with, but uh, yeah, apparently they're just gonna nerf it into the ground. It's fine, I guess. I don't really use it anyway. Uh, cut down damage threshold was above 50% maximum health. Now it's above 60% maximum health. So you're losing that for uh, losing that a little bit quicker, actually. Um, definitely a nerf to it, but I think it was pretty much the best. So they're walking back their 14.11. Uh, buff to cut down because it no longer needs the extra push, so now it's both strong and popular. So yeah, they're, uh, they're nerfing it. Definitely hurts, but it's not a big deal, honestly. Um, fleet footwork is also getting nerfed here. Uh, move speed was 20% for 1.25 seconds, and now it's 15% for 1 second, so the move speed is less and for less time, and then uh, the heal was 5 to 120 based on level, now it's 5 to 100 based on level. So yeah, just similar to Absorb Life, they're just nerfing, nerfing it, nerfing early sustain and stuff. So I don't think it's a big deal, but it's definitely, definitely hurts quite a bit. That one hurts a lot more, in my opinion, than the Absorb Life change. And then Aram Clash. So they already had that, so I'm not going to worry about that. That was a while ago. Uh, bug fixes and quality of life changes. Buffered charged abilities. They're, they're changing stuff here for buffered charged abilities. Oh yeah, that's right. So now instead of ma smashing an, uh, a key uh, while you're CC'd, you can simply hold it down while you're CC'd and your spell will cast the moment you're free. So that is pretty nice. I, I don't know if I did use it very much, but yeah, it's, it's charged abilities here. Um, so like Briar E, Brilliant Soul Q, all, the, all of these ones. So Warwick Q is actually really nice too, to be honest. I do use that one quite a bit, so that one's pretty good. Diego Q's W is going to be pretty nice too. I think Poppy Vi Q would be really nice as well. So there's definitely stuff. Varus Q, yeah, yeah. So yeah, there you go. A little bit quicker. Zareth e Q as well, I'd use for sure. So yeah, and then um, Vigo and Silas also benefit from this update when they steal the abilities of these champions. And then Misfortunes gets a, gets a VFX update, visual effects. Um, so yeah, they're updating a few of her skins. And so her base, her cowgirl, secret agent, candy cane, prime, crime city, and pool party. I almost said prime city. Um, <laughs> any primers? Anyways, uh, crime city and pool party uh, are all getting updated to better graphics, I guess. So they're cool. Love to see it. Uh, correct lane indicators. So uh, for those new to league, it can be sometimes uh, be a bit confusing which lane you're supposed to be going to. We've all been there at one point, starting at patch 1417. If your account is below level 11, you will now have arrows that appear on your screen directing you to the correct lane or jungle camp so you can start your game off on the right foot. Flipper, tentacle claw, you get the point. These arrows will last for 30 seconds or until you leave your fountain, whichever comes first. I like it, honestly. It's, it's, a, good, it's a good idea and nice quality of life. Um, also, apparently they have significant performance improvements when opening the League Client, which is nice. Um, I think I've noticed that a little bit, but I can't say for sure. And then uh, they fixed back and work related to granting, granted summoner level rewards, added a special prize for our most dedicated players. I don't know what this means, actually. Um, I'm going to have to look that one up, but... Yeah, hopefully someone knows that out there. Uh, but yeah, this bug fixes, obviously. Definitely check those out. These can be very, very important at times. So there you go. And other than that, uh, this is Arena Changes, which is actually going away pretty soon here, unfortunately. Um, but it's fine. Uh, there's stuff for that. ARAM Changes, if you're interested in that. So they're doing a bunch of stuff there. And... The, the skins, of course, are here as well. So we have the Battle Queen Misfortune, looking pretty snazzy. And then uh, Battle Queen Gwen, looking pretty decent, I guess. Uh, Battle Queen Fiora, she's got some like very white hair or something. Uh, or peach hair, I guess. Um, and then we've got, what is this? Battle Princess Annie. 
and then we have Divine God King, uh, what is it, Darius and Fallen God King Garen, okay. Interesting. Interesting that Darius gets the Divine and the Fallen gets goes to Garen. And then you have your uh, your Chromas and stuff, so yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching, this is going to be it for today. I appreciate you sticking through it, and sorry Drew wasn't here, but uh, hopefully we'll get to him in the next patch, which hopefully is going to be soon. I'm recording this like a few days after... The 14.18 uh, came out, so yeah. But anyways, thank you guys for watching once again, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.